click share and share the stream. This is on the virtual couch with House Party Queen HPQ on GY Radio. She's on it every third Sunday of the month, month. right and, here. And this is the musicality event that we've got this week. Now, who have we, who've we got as our, as our second guest? We are running on time. Doesn't I can see somebody you know? in the green room with a big <laughs> smile. She, she, <laughs> I can see, I can see an award winner. Can you see an award winner? <laughs> she's flicking her hair now. I think she's flicking her hair. She's flicking her hair like that. Her hair. <laughs> I can see. Look who we got. Look who we got. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's the it's the lovely Miss L vibes. How are you, my darling? Unmute yourself. Unmute, sweetie. Oh, you thought would you would have thought I'd be used to this by now. <laughs> <laughs> My random queen. Hi, how Award you doing? How are you? <laughs> how are you, my darling? Always with your most amazing smile. <laughs> Thank you. I'm absolutely fine. A little nervous, but I'm great. How do you feel so nervous? I mean, you are one of the top female DJs, okay? We know you've won an award, and we're going to come back to that in a second. You are on the mic all the time. You have this lovely, delectable voice, and yet you're nervous? You know what? I actually always am. Until I play the first couple of tunes, and then I'm fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I, I always am getting nervous. And funny enough, like when I do the radio, because I, and I can't call myself a radio DJ, I refuse to do that. Um, when I start playing a few tunes, I get very nervous as well. But funny enough, on this couch, I'm not. And by the way, Shuey, I'm hearing a really bad echo when I'm speaking. I know. You've got your headphones plugged in, haven't you? I have, yeah. indeed. And you as well, L Vibes, yeah? I've got headphones on, yeah. Okay. Mm, I'm echo myself as well. Some we'll we'll have to wait until Mr. Sharky DJ comes and see if he can sort out some of this engineering. Okay. So, Mr. Vibes, you are no stranger to the couch, are you? You were one of my first guests on my very first yeah. show. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I remember. And, that was brilliant. And back then, we had you up as a. You're not exactly a Zoom queen, <laughs> but definitely part of the group there. Now. Yeah. Let's talk about your awards. You are an award-winning DJ. Tell everybody what you won. Where is my trophy? Can you please go get that trophy? Da -da! <laughs> this trophy says Best Female Presenter, the groundbreaking Blackout Awards 2020. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, so big up. I, I feel so overwhelmed in receiving it is absolutely awesome yeah see, the thing about it is that i was actually i was actually watching the blackout awards and when they were announcing for the best female presenter and i'm sitting there thinking oh god is gonna win it oh god is definitely gonna win it and when he paused i thought that's it she's got it because they were obviously like oh my god because it was someone that they weren't expecting and it was your dear self yeah. how did you feel when your name was called out oh my gosh that feeling I jumped up in the air <laughs> I couldn't believe it it was absolutely amazing to hear my name and to see my picture on the screen I was like oh my gosh I've won <laughs> yeah and, and where, where were you when they announced the winner I was at home you know what I was doing getting ready to, I just finished doing a set on zoom <laughs> So in between the Zoom, I was watching and then I did my set and then about five minutes after, that's when my name got called. So <laughs> it was just amazing. So, so why are you so shocked that you won? <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I, yeah, I'm a good DJ and so are all the others. I'm just grateful and glad that all the people voted for me yeah so it's not that i'm shocked okay okay well, let me I, jump I, in I, there let me jump in there thank um, you HP. yes yes l vibes puts in the work and when you put in the work you'll get the benefits simply put in the work and you see it come back to you and i've seen l vibes over the last year put in a lot of work a lot of work on the zoom parties a lot of people were frightened to do zoom parties but L Vibes is putting that hard work, and that's what happens. Putting hard yeah. work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. But I, I, I can't hear it, but, 
In regards to you as a DJ, I mean, you don't just have collections of music. I've heard you've actually studied music and you study your artists as well. You spend yeah. a lot of time doing that. I mean, how do you prepare for a show or a set? Um, I just um, basically days before a radio show, I spend time listening and sorting out my music and like in in a kind of order, kind of thing. Um, yeah, so and read up about the artists, about the um, when the the record came out and things like that, and just have a bit of knowledge about it, really. Yeah, and that's really good because I know some DJs will just lift up their laptop, find a collection, and just start playing. But you actually think about and your set and the types of music you're playing and what artists you're playing, so you can actually discuss it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's brilliant. And you do that for every set? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not every set. But there are times when I do. And then there are times when I actually just wing it and just kind of play tunes that I like and I know that the people will like. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in your experience, have you ever had a bad set? I mean, I sometimes feel like I do have a bad set, but then other people say, no, that was wicked, you know, but that's just me. I'm always self-critiquing myself, you know what I mean? When I don't feel the vibe myself, I don't, I think that they, you know, that the public didn't feel it either. But when I get all the feedback, my phone blows up, especially on the radio show. Sometimes, sometimes I don't even want to do my radio show because I'm having one of those days and I'm just... And I winged it, played tunes, and I get the public messaging me on my phone or on the chat room and saying that it's been a brilliant show. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know. Um, but that's because I kind of know my music and I know what to play, when to play it. So, yeah. Do you, do you think it's easier playing on radio than live? Because on radio, you don't have uh, the, the, the vision of, of the public looking at you and standing there saying, I don't like this track, or they're jamming and you know they're enjoying it. On radio, you don't have that visibility. So how do you know if people are enjoying your music or not? I mean, you understand that through the feedback you get afterwards. But at the time, how, 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 are you aware or...? No, I'm not aware. I just basically just play the music and uh, try and educate them because on my show, the difference is when I play out, basically, I tend to play like party tunes and familiar tunes that people like. On my show, I mix it up. I will play those familiar tunes, but then I will also play like uh, show music that people don't know, but... Um, you know, I hope that they like it, and I'm, and I do often get the feedback to say, "Oh, that's a nice one. That this <laughs> one's good." You know, so you know, I just have to kind of play what I think people will like. If I, I just feel if I like it, you're gonna like it. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, that does work. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> and so, are you a re are you a refix person as well? Do you refix tunes? <clears throat> <laughs> And by the way, I've heard about this term refix very recently, so I'm, I'm using it like I know what I'm talking about. So can you yeah. explain to everyone what refixes are <laughs> and whether you do indulge in refixes? Yeah, okay. So a refix um, is when a popular song gets played onto another maybe popular song rhythm. Rhythm. They call it rhythm or rhythm. <laughs> you know you know the music behind the instrumental yeah. and um, form a a new track different version and um, I absolutely love it actually to be honest um, I, pl I do play it a lot and if I can get it I will get I will get what I can get and I have actually done a couple myself <laughs> I've actually done one with Ida Divine <laughs> well, hopefully we will see her later on and we, can, we can have a little chat about that also yeah yeah, so, so yeah, I enjoy it. I just, you know, mess around with the music and things like that. I've only done a couple. I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not Tony Don. <laughs> <laughs> but then Tony Don is not Miss L vibes. Oh. <laughs> oh big up yourself, Tony Don. Yeah, big up Tony Don. 
Um, so what's happened since you've won this award? Has anything, you know, have you had people at your door saying, yeah, we definitely want you to come and play here, there, or, or is no, it just no. normal? It's just it's just normal. I've had a few, couple of interviews, especially the first week after. Uh, if, say, for instance, I'll be on Facebook and somebody's doing a live and um, they message me and say, come on now, come on right now. <laughs> So I've been on a, a couple of live feeds, just random, you know, doing a little short, just a short little, um, you know, talk interview. Um, so yeah, it's, um, um, that's so about it, really. We recently met up in Birmingham also last weekend, and you said that you had or you wanted a picture for a magazine shoot. Yeah, what, that shoot? that was actually for the Blackout Awards. Um, they asked me to take a picture with the with the trophy so that I can um, be be in the in the magazine in the, in the gallery and, yeah. in the gallery yeah <laughs> and is this was this your first award you won yes this is my first official award I've had other awards like um, Skyline you know my radio um, show that I do we all had awards for being part of the team basically and I had another um, award through my DJ company that I work for which is Midland Pro DJs um, but that was not an official award so this is my first official award oh my days <laughs> oh you must be I mean I, I know that I was jumping up and down when you won that I voted for you multiple times um and I just had this feeling that you would win I think most of us have seen the work that you've put in not just on the zoom parties but your radio stations and tell us where you are on the radio by the way okay Okay, so I work for um, Skyline Radio. That's a weekly show on a Wednesday between the hours of 9 and 12. Straight after that, I do <laughs> Random Wednesdays on DY oh, Radio. Can you please tell everybody about Random Wednesdays as well after we've spoken about where you are on the radio? Yeah, yeah. So that's Random Wednesday from... <laughs> From I'll finish my show till whenever, basically. <laughs> Normally around <laughs> half two, but sometimes we go a little bit over time. Uh, I also do Power Hour on GY Radio as well, which is um, um, an hour of music between the hours of 11 and 12. Elvad, and I must say, loving that Power Hour. Power hour. Do oh you? Oh, oh gosh. It's a real power hour, <laughs> I don't, isn't I don't it? work on a Wednesday, so... That power hour, I think it's fantastic, man. You know I, mean? I try I try and mix it up each week as well. I know, so I know what you're doing. I'm watching each, you. Each I'm week, don't. <laughs> I'm I, did, week. I had a regular call at 11 a.m. on a Wednesday that I've moved because it interferes with listening to you. <laughs> I love it, man. That, that power hour there. And I remember one time you were doing a show and I had to ring you. I said, Are you live? Yeah. Because yeah. I know you normally pre record them, but for some reason. That one sounded like you're live. I had to say, are you live? But yeah, I'm live. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was live that, uh, the one time. Yeah, but uh, I can't, unfortunately, I can't go live on um, Power Hour every week. But when I can, I certainly will. Um, I also play um, on Global Soul Radio. Um, that's once a month. And that's where I feature a lot of new artists and independent soul and neo soul. And, and sometimes take you back into memory lane as well on that show as well. But my Skyline show is a mixed bag of music. I will play absolutely everything on that one. Anything that's soulful. So, um, yeah, that's me on my radio shows. Okay, we're going to have to get those details up. Um, yeah, I will. Social media details and I'll, I'll add them to mine also where people can find them. But yeah. Random Wednesdays, I, I wish that we had Sharky here as well, but maybe we'll get him to talk about it afterwards and bring you back. But tell us about Random Wednesdays and your involvement. Yeah, so <laughs> my involvement, um, I had a text message from Sharky DJ <laughs> yeah. the one day saying, you're in the team, no asking. <laughs> <laughs> just put me in there but you know what i absolutely love random wednesdays because it is random like it says um so big up to sharky dj and also to the shoe doctor the shoe to the d <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we have um each week um we've been having a, a guest um on the show 
uh, it's been absolutely amazing and it just gives me the opportunity to play music that I don't regularly play you know I can go deep I can play music go, people go, know go, you know go it's, dusty, it's, as they say go, go very dirty, dirty. <laughs> go very dusty. <laughs> yes yes we do Shoe Doctor, in, in yes. Sharky's absence here, Random Wednesdays, how was that born? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you exactly how it was born. You know, I do the, um, I do the uh, Anything Goes on a Wednesday. Yeah. One Wednesday, uh, DJ Viking couldn't do his show. So I said, I'm going to jump from Anything Goes and jump on the radio. Because I was actually doing a show anyway. So I said, I might as well just put it on the radio. So I've done that. Then a week after, I said, Sharp, jump on with me. Let's do a show together. <laughs> He jumped, he jumped on. on. Then I think we had Juicy, Juicy as a special, special guest. guest. Then I think it was L Vibe. Then there you go. The team's there. L Vibe, yeah. Sir Sharky DJ, and myself for Random Wednesdays, man. I love it. It's and it to is, play some different songs. And it is very random because what time does it kick off? 11 o'clock at night, and we go through till 2 is the shut off time, but 2 stroke 3. I'd say more 3 o'clock. But I'm thinking about capping it at 2 o'clock, man, and make people want more for the next week. That's what I want to do. I'll leave it, I'll leave it to the main players. Miss L Vibes and Sir Sharky DJ. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and, and Miss L Vibes, what music is played on Random Wednesdays? Because it's not a mix, is it? No, it's generally uh, slow jams and rare grooves. And when I say slow jams, it doesn't have to be 90s slow jams. It could be anything from the 80s, the 70s, new school slow jams, just music of that tempo. You know what I like uh, about it, L Vibes? There's no yeah. particular order how you're There's no particular you order. Yeah, yeah. There's I no, love it. There's no, she played that, so I need to play this. No, I'm going to play what I'm going to play. You play what you're going to play, and, this, and it just works. It seems to work. Yeah, right? it's absolutely awesome. I love it every week. Even though I'm tired. Even when we're tired. <laughs> Have you actually got work the next day? After and I got work the next day. <laughs> and, and, you know and, and you know what else? It's becoming a habit. The <laughs> bottle of wine on a Wednesday. <laughs> you know something I'm trying to tell people to get a little sleep before the show. I'm telling people get a little hour, two hours sleep, wake up at ten, fresh up yourself, then go back in your bed with your glass or whatever. And, and then we're on. You know what I mean? And you see the weirdest thing is is that I was always a Zoom person because visually for me I, I wanna dance, you know, be on screen to everybody else. But random Wednesdays is literally watching you guys play. And it's and almost it's like, like a Zoom, a Zoom ritual. ritual. I've got to get my wine. It's coming on at this time. You know, I'm ready. And staying up to these late hours to watch you guys play. And you've had some amazing guests. And I think last week was the award-winning show, wasn't it? You had on... We had award-winning D-Mac. He's coming up next. He's coming up next. Yes, yes, yes. He was actually, it was an amazing show. We vibed, we did, didn't we, Shui? Oh, man, fantastic show. It man. was a fantastic vibe, show. definitely. Yeah, fantastic this week we'll, this week we have uh, Touch, Touch T in the, the house. From the spot, Touch And he'll be celebrating his birthday. Oh, right. happy birthday to Touch T. I don't know if he's joined us here today. But um, coming back off Random Wednesdays now, um, before COVID, what what did your what did your DJ in year look like before lockdown? Okay, <laughs> basically, I would go to work Monday to Friday with a day off on a Wednesday to do my radio show. Mm -hmm. Friday, I would be doing. Uh, I could be doing an event. It could be either a wedding, a birthday, or a um, an event like a soul event or something. Saturday the same, and sometimes even on a Sunday. And sometimes on a Saturday, I could be leaving from one venue and going to another one, like the man's dam. <laughs> <laughs> it was before COVID. It was crazy. It was crazy. But you know what? I love what I do. I do love what I do. And, and I so, love this. Mm -hmm. What's this year going to look like for you now we're coming out of lockdown? Or do, do you have anything booked for this year or even 2022? I have bookings for uh, this year, a couple of bookings already. And uh, I've also got bookings for 2022 as well. Um, so let's see what happens with the COVID, if it happens, you know. Um, but if not, we'll have to be Zooming. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and what are these gigs you've got lined up for this year that you've been booked at? I've got a, a birth. I've got a couple of birthdays to do. I've got a wedding. I've got a, 
got a birthday in Bournemouth. I've got to go there. And um, bit, some other private events later down in the year as well. And I know I'm going to get some more bookings from Midland Pro DJ, which is a company that I work for. I have to big them up because, um, yeah, they get they get my bookings and I do a lot of corporate events through them and, um, you know, weddings. Um, absolutely amazing. Okay. Now, I don't want to go into people's preferences, especially around COVID, all right? And everything's opening up and obviously travel has opened up. You know, and everyone's talking about the jab, whether they're going to take the jab in order to travel and is it going to be restrictive or not? I know my hands are down. I don't want any jab. I have to be forced. I'll be the last person. Um, but obviously for DJs, it's difficult because that's quite a main bit of your work to be able to travel and to DJ. How do you feel about perhaps having to take the jab to travel? Well, I don't want to take the, the jab. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to take it at all. Um, let's see what happens. I'm hoping that they don't force us to, to travel. Mm. I don't really want that because to me, I feel like, why are they really onto us to take the jab when, when the jab only protects the person that takes the jab? Do you know what I mean? So it's entirely up to that person. So why are they making restrictions for people that haven't taken the jab? I feel that they should, um, you know, yeah, have a, have a COVID test and make sure that yeah. you're free from COVID. But to take the jab, that's somebody's preference, you know, that's their personal choice. And I don't really want to. And I've got this feeling they're going to try and force us to, which I don't want to happen. Um. So I'm just going to see how it goes, basically. Okay, I, I I'm think that's see how it goes. the question I'm going to ask Mac as well, because I think it's quite important, you know, in terms of how people feel about it. I know how I feel about it, but it's all about people's personal preferences. But one of the last questions I'm going to ask you, because I'm running on time today, Shuey, you, you might are. notice. I know, you do well. So, you know, we obviously know about the male dominance. In, in, in DJ and, and you know we can get a lineup of males and no one will say this is an all male lineup but when we get women when we're featuring you'll always it's, it's almost like a big deal we have to make out of it all oh, it's all females you know and how's it been for you in terms of being a, a, a top female DJ in amongst this dominant world of male DJs well um I've been for me I've been okay I've just they the guys who I've worked with in the past they love working with me because, um, you know, obviously I bring my own little vibe. So I haven't had any um, bad vibes or anything like that with other male DJs. I feel a lot of support is coming my way from the people that I know. So I haven't felt that, to be honest. Good. And just a shout out to all promoters. Make sure you pay this lady her worth. The same as all the male DJs out there. Not because she's a female, that there's some percentages lower. Promoters, make sure it's equal. I'm all up for equality. Yeah. Um, HP, let me just jump in. Let me put my five pence worth in. I like to yeah. do. I went to, I went to a, where was the party? I went to a party. We actually used at a party in Birmingham. I saw Miss L Vibes do three sets that night. A couple of years ago in Birmingham. Every set was up there. There was no... It, every, every set, set was, was up there. Up there. I, I keep saying Elvis, Elvis plays, plays like a man. Like a man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else said that to me as well. Elvis <laughs> plays can like I, a can man. I, can I, you know, no, no, no. Can I just break you there, Shuey? Yeah. Why is it that she plays like a man? Why can't she just play as a DJ? I don't know. That's what I do, a DJ. But I'm just, I keep saying she plays like a man. A good man DJ who knows what they're playing next. Because I see Elvis play at that party. Three sets she played. And every set she played, I could tell she knows what she's doing. We was at a party in Leicester a couple of years ago. She rocked the place. That's the first time we actually, actually seen L Vibes play properly. I've seen her play at Soul Thrill, but I didn't really get to see her. You know what I mean? Soul Thrill, you more play new stuff. So it's not really a, a vibesy, vibesy thing. But I see her play at a party in Leicester where I first met her properly. And let me tell you, she done a little 25 minute set or whatever. I was on a mic for her. Party was upside down. Simple. So that just, from then, I knew, I knew she's got she what it takes to be a DJ. DJ. Then I have, didn't know where she, know where she come from. from. She's from Birmingham, Wolverhampton at the time. She's from that ends there. But hear what I'm saying. She knows what she's doing, man. So big up to L Vibes. Thank you. 
and, 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 Shu, and Shui, you might have called some uh, some chat in the chat room because Lillian from uh, the New Bean Queens is saying no, she plays like herself and she's a DJ in her own right. That terminology, she saying. plays like a man. I don't care. Watch it. You've got to get rid of that. You've got to get I don't rid care. Of that. I'm going to continue saying it. <laughs> plays like a man DJ, a good man DJ. Because most of the DJs are men. Yeah, unfortunately, most of the DJs are men and most of the best DJs are men. I'm just telling you how it is. And she played like a man that night, I'm telling you straight. Simple. Okay, that, that's probably another conversation that we'll have on the couch in terms of DJing and terminology and, and dominance. But back to you, Miss L Vibes. You know, as, as a last question, what do you do outside of DJing? You know, when you're not listening to music. <laughs> I'm always listening to music, always. I, um, I work, I work for an adult college as an information and advisor and um, that's what I do four days a week and then on a, on a Wednesday obviously I got my radio show um, I'd like going to the gym when you know if I can or, or just going out for walks and things like that I love cooking I when love baking dinner, right? <laughs> oh you don't did you have to go there did you oh my days <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> cooking I do love cooking and I do love baking I, I'm actually quite a good baker if I, I say so myself yeah um I don't I just don't do very often these days I used to I used to get orders for cakes and things like that but mm -hmm. I don't yeah but I don't do it anymore because music has taken over and it's much tidier <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that apart from that I sorry I music all all the way for me i don't watch tv the tv watches me if i'm resting on the city um all i do is listen research yeah uh, look out for new music that's all i do it's music is me and blame my mom for that she got me into this <laughs> yeah music is in your soul and I think, yeah. yes, I think most of our parents that came in from that Windrush generation we all got brought up on music because that's one of the things that they had in common that's what helped them through the racist Britain back then was playing music and yeah that's right music. that's right yeah and then my mom used to um, when when she used to have those parties at Christmas time Lorraine come and put some music on the, on the turntable for me while well, she does her dancing I was doing the playing that's where it began <laughs> yeah and it's a bit like um, uh, Little Links and Silver Links that I had on a few weeks ago he's seven years old and he's been DJing since he was since he could walk or talk and I've been looking at some of their Instagram and he's been following his father and just, mm -hmm. just playing music from music such a young age. age. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see when he reaches his teens how much of a connoisseur he's actually going to be. Yeah. But I'd just like to say thank you, Miss Vibes. Congratulations again. A very, very well deserved award. I look forward to seeing you win it next year. And the year <laughs> this year and the and year after. Sorry, I should say next year. It was this year already. And the year after, and many more awards that will come up. We need some more DJing awards out there, not just the Blackout Awards also. So let's see what's what's going to happen. But yeah. it's been really exciting to watch your journey over the past year, and I look forward to watching what you're going to be doing next. Yeah. And just as a last comment, Natalie White said, no such thing as a man DJ. Men have dominated the field. Simple. Respect is due as a selector, mixer, sound, and technical manipulator. That's it. There you go. That's it. She's a man Think of yourself, DJ. Natalie. Thank you, Natalie, <laughs> for that comment. I'm with you up there. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much, Michelle Vibes. We'll chat to you a bit later. We're going to bring you back in the green room. Hopefully, if Mr. Ida Divine joins, we'll bring you back out onto the couch when she's there. I know she's your little hero as well. Oh, gosh, yeah. Thank, Thank you for having time. me, both of you. Thank you, House Party yeah. Queen. Thank Doing you, a fantastic Michelle. job. Thank you. you. Are. Cheers, darling. Thank oh, you. you just took her out. She was so, speaking. Sorry, was she still speaking? <laughs> so, look, is she? it's okay. I was just saying, I'm very proud of House Party Queen. She's doing a fantastic job here on oh, the oh. virtual couch. Thank you on so much, couch. my darling. You too, from one female to another. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See you later. See you later.